Hey, Mark Monroe here. Welcome to another episode of the Harmonize Your Life podcast, where, hey, I'm dedicated to helping you unlock your potential, uh, heal your life, and unveil a whole another level of who and what you are. Um, just something I'm really passionate about. And today I wanted to kind of share, I did a post the other day, um, just sharing a quote. And the quote was, music is a carrier way for intention. So today I wanted to kind of elaborate a little bit on that, kind of share a little bit of the story behind that quote, where it came from, and uh, how it totally impacted my work, but ultimately also how it is that how you can program intention or energy or frequencies, whatever you want to call it, into your music, into your expression. When I say into your music, I mean how it is that you express yourself. You know, whether you're a mom, whether you're a corporate guy, whether you're a CEO, whether you're a painter, whether you go and fix leaky faucets for a living, whatever it is, that's your music. That's what you express into the world. So what I'm going to share with you today is just some steps that you can add power to that expression and powerfully impact people's lives around you in a way that <clears throat> transcends words, in a way that impacts people on an energetic level. So to kind of give you a little bit of a backdrop, so for those of you who know, a uh, former top consultant to NASA, uh, discovered frequencies in my music that actually eliminate the negative effects of energy disruptors in the environment, such as toxic chemicals, Wi-Fi, smart meters, 4G, 3G, 5G, all these disruptive waves that put this beautiful field of energy that makes up who and what we are into a state of disharmony, causing stress, causing dis-ease, causing uh, all kinds of challenges uh, to our lives and how it is that we function. And so one day I'm sitting in the office with Doc and he asked me a question. He said, Mark, out of all the energy disruptors in the universe, in our lives, what do you think is the most powerful one? And I'm thinking, you know, Doc came from NASA. It's got to be something like radiation, I don't know, gamma radiation, something like that. But his answer really surprised me and ultimately changed a big part of how I was expressing my work. And he said, would you believe that the most powerful energy disruptor in the whole universe are your own limiting thoughts, beliefs, and perceptions? The very stories that you've woven into the operating system software of your mind They'll tell you you're anything but magnificent, anything but beautiful, anything but unlimited in your potential, anything but divine, anything but powerful. He said the very belief structures and programs that prevent us from becoming all of who and what we are, that prevent us from embodying our essence, our power, our unlimited potential. So out of that conversation, I kind of got this idea like, wow, okay, you know, if this music can eliminate energy disruptors in the environment, their negative effects, maybe I could also use the music to eliminate the negative effects of the disruptors in our own heads. So around the time out of this conversation, I had a friend of mine send me an email and said, hey Mark, you should go to this uh, sound healing conference in New Mexico. I don't remember the name of it, it's going back quite a few years. And I remember I went to the website and I'm looking at the video, and they got these scientist guys on there talking, yes, today we're going to talk about sound. You know, just kind of dry characters, let's put it that way, maybe maybe a pocket protector or two. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, there's no way I'm going to sit through eight hours of listening to guys like this talk. You know, I have I have a hard time sitting still for a long time anyways, and put throw me in a school environment, and boy, sometimes it can really become challenging. I don't care who's presenting at the top, at front of the room. You know, so I'm watching this video and I'm just kind of, okay, I don't know if I want to go to this. And then I hear some guy say one thing. And he said, music is the carrier wave for intention. I don't know who the guy was. I don't know. I don't remember. I just remember those words. And you know how sometimes you hear things and it just, you get goosebumps. It reverberates through your very being. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's really interesting. I'm going to ponder on that. And so shortly thereafter, I'm on a session where I'm working with a young lady who had a reoccurring negative pattern. 
And a reoccurring negative pattern, I think we all know what that is, is something that no matter what you do keeps reoccurring in your life. It's like no matter what I do, I struggle with prosperity. No matter what I do, I keep uh, attracting disharmonious relationships. No matter what I do, I can't lose those 10 pounds. No matter what I do, I can't open up to the job, the position that I truly want to open up to. And so anytime you have a negative reoccurring pattern, it just means that you have a program within you that's governing that, that's bringing that to your experience. So I had a young lady who came to me with a reoccurring negative pattern. Mark, over the last 10 years, no matter what I've done, I keep attracting the same kind of relationship. Different body, but same issues. Disrespect, you know, being mean, not being supportive. I'm tired. I don't want to have relationships like this anymore. I want to have a relationship that works, where I'm loved, I'm, I'm appreciated, I'm respected. I mean, who doesn't want that, right? And so we're having a conversation, and in the course of that conversation, I hear resentment. It's almost like over the years and 10 years now in doing this work, I can somebody can talk. Somebody can even send me an email, and I can read it or listen to the words, and I can hear underlying tones. It's almost like an intuitive thing, I guess, clarity, and I guess they call it, um, where I can hear where a person's out of tune. In other words, where they say they want this outcome, but their subconscious mind is not in alignment with that. And so I hear resentment, so I start asking some questions. Um, I ask a lot of questions in my sessions. And we did some digging, and it ended up, 10 years unresolved issues with her dad. You know, they didn't get along well, a lot of this, fighting, just disrespect, things between the two of them. And it was very unresolved, a lot of resentment. So I asked her a question. I said, are you willing to set the intention to forgive your dad? And she said, yes, I am. I said, and I just got this idea. I said, you know what, I'm gonna play a piece of music for you on forgiveness. And so I just kind of closed my eyes, set the intention, and it was almost like the guitar played me. And I recorded that piece into the studio. And I sent it to her. I said, here, this is completely on the whim. Play this in your environment, and let's see what happens. I had no idea what was going to happen. She calls me up three days later. She goes, Mark, you are not going to freaking believe this. I said, what's up? She goes, my dad called me today out of the blue. And he said, you know what? 10 years is way too hell, way too long to have unreconciled issues between us. Are you open to sitting down and talking about forgiveness? She goes, Mark, you don't understand. My dad is like macho man guy. He's a non-emotional dude. Um, he would never do anything like that. And it just hit me so strongly. I said, you know, we all need to learn that the, everything out here, including relationships, is a mere reflection of what's going on in here. I said, you set the intention to forgive your dad. You created this resonance, this vibration within yourself, playing the music. And lo and behold, what happens? An opportunity to forgive what needed to be forgiven in order to end that reoccurring negative pattern. So it was absolutely mind-blowing. She was blown away. I was blown away. I'm like, oh, maybe I'm on to something here. <clears throat> and I remember shortly before Doc transitioned, I went to go see him. He's literally on his deathbed. And I said, Doc, you know, it's like a whole new area for me. I'm like whispering in his ear. I said, dude, I go, I think I can play music with different intentions and have it paint, change people's energy and help them to let go of old thoughts, beliefs, and perceptions that aren't serving them anymore. And he just looked at me and he smiled and he said, took you that long to figure it out, huh? And I'm like, oh, what a dude, are you like holding back secrets from me? He goes, uh, just some things you need to figure out on your own. And so this kind of opened up a whole new level of the work. But the reason why I share this is because you have music. That's your expression. You could be a yoga teacher. You could be a cook at a restaurant. You could be a mom. You could be a dad. You could be a CEO. You could be an office worker. You could be a trash man. It doesn't matter. Your expression, how you reflect and shine yourself into the world is your 
music. And you can program your music with an intention and reverberate out into the world around you. You can impact your kids, for example, without even saying anything, with love, with self-confidence, whatever it is that you want to emanate out into the space. If we knew how powerful we really are, we'd probably get a little freaked out. We'd probably go a little crazy maybe, go, oh my gosh, I'm like reverberating out into the universe. Well, let me tell you something, you are. You are reverberating out into the universe. So, I'm gonna share some steps with you. Some steps that you can take to start changing your broadcast and what it is that you express through your music. So yes, if you're a painter, if you speak words, if you're a speaker, whatever it might be, you can put intention into your expression. So first and foremost, step number one, set the intention to do so, okay? It's like today, I'm intending that I'm gonna radiate love out through every aspect of my life. Boom, done. Set an intention, in other words, Implement the command. You are the commander in chief of energy, okay? Command it. Command it. Imagine if everybody started commanding love, compassion, non judgment, uh, confidence, creativity. How we could change the world through our music, through our expression. And that's what I want to propose today. So, number one, set the intention. Set the intention to be more loving. Set the intention to be more compassionate. Set the intention to be at peace and to reflect that out into the world. And to add a little bit of power to that overall process, intention's great, but then just take some deep breaths. Step number two, can you actually feel within you that state of being? Can you actually generate that emotion, that frequency within yourself of being loving. Like right now, can you close your eyes and just tune in and generate this feeling of being loving? See, it's very easy. I can generate that feeling of being loving. Now, don't judge yourself and how well you think you're doing. Just do the best you can, and that's good enough. So step number one, Set the intention to be more loving. Step number two, take just 30 seconds. Generate the feeling of lovingness. Generate that frequency, that energy of love. Step number three, this gets work, it's kind of fun, is can you imagine kind of reverberating it out into the world through your imagination? Three steps. Very simple. Don't get all in thinking about it. Don't get in judgment about how good or how not good you're doing. Let it go. Number one, set the intention to be more loving. In this case, I'm using loving as an example. You can pick your own. Step number two, generate that emotion, that frequency of love within you. Step number three, imagine putting it out there, speaking it, breathing it out, reverberating out. On my um, Facebook page, I just did a post the other day of throwing this pebble in the water and how it created these reverberations out. This is the same thing. You're sending reverberations out of loving. If you're sending reverberations out of, let's say, love, what's going to mirror back to you? That's right. More loving. More love. More examples of that. And as I mentioned earlier, if we could see what it is that we are reverberating out to this sea of unlimited possibilities, we would be freaking blown away of what we're sending out. And I think we would be really much more mindful of what it is that we were sending out. Your music matters. Your expression matters. Who and what you are matters. Shine your light. Play your music reverberate out into the world. Three steps. Set the intention, generate the emotion or the feeling or the frequency of that intention, 
Step number three, imagine sending it out. Do it once a day. You don't have to do this. It's not rocket science. Take a minute or two to do it. Take five minutes if you can. And just see what happens even right at home. Reverberate love through your home. How's that going to impact the kids? How's that going to impact your significant other? How's it going to impact the dog and the cat and the birds? How's that going to impact your neighborhood? How's that going to impact the state you live in? How's it going to impact the country? How's it going to impact the world that we live in? You are a conduit for energy. It's time for all of us to wake up to our power and to start intentionally putting out higher vibrations into the world. And just do the best you can. Some days you're going to feel like you're walking on water. Other days you're going to feel like a total knucklehead. It doesn't matter. Do it anyways. You will be amazed at what shows up for you, how you impact other people's lives, and what starts reflecting back at you. So some thoughts to ponder. See what shows up. Take it on. Take this on for a week. Just five minutes a day, once a day. Set the intention to generate a specific state of being, more loving, could be secure, could be confident, whatever it is for you. Step number two, generate that feeling within you. Step number three, through the power of your imagination, imagine it reverberating out around you. See what shows up in a week. I guarantee you something will shift. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. Would love to hear your comments, questions. Have a happy and harmonious day. Take care.